All right, so this is our chicken coop, and I wanted to shoot a video of our drip irrigation system I set up. Originally, I planned for it to be start with a rain barrel. I put up a gutter off the chicken coop roof, um, but before I ended up plumbing it in, I realized how nasty the water looks because of all the biomaterial, the leaves and everything that fall off of this tree. So I was going to build in some sort of filter system and then uh, in the meantime I filled this 55 gallon drum and realized it holds an incredible amount of water so it didn't seem worth it. So basically I come out here now every four, six weeks, I don't know, it lasts a long time and uh, just fill it up with the hose water. So I had this overflow valve, it doesn't really go anywhere, I figured I'd do something with it. Here's a chicken saying hello. Crazy chickens. Um, so anyway, that's just for overflow. That was going to be if uh, the rain barrel was set up to the gutter. And I just have this little piece of PVC in here. So there's the top. It's three quarter inch PVC. I just drilled it out. And that's kind of the cap. That's where I fill it. You'll notice this is actually the bottom of the barrel. I have it upside down. Um, the top of the barrel is down here. This barrel had two tops. One is this plastic clothes piece that I left alone. And the other is a screw-in version. What I did is I drilled out in the middle and threaded in a piece of uh, PVC piping. It's all three-quarter inch PVC. I just kind of winged this as I went along. So the pipe runs over. Just kind of designed this as I was going. Um, this, this bucket's just sitting here. It was collecting the runoff from the gutter that we're not using. But I'll explain my thought process through this. So first we have a shutoff valve here. And this turns off, this cuts off the barrel from the system. Um, and then here we have what's another valve. And basically this drains what goes into the coop. So if I ever want to clean it out, this is a little bit higher than this. So I can just drain it. And this will empty that water out. The reason I built this, uh, I did it for height reasons, so this would be the lowest point, but I was also thinking like under the kitchen sink plumbing and thinking if any sediment did get in the line, hopefully it would get caught in this lower part. Uh, this is a quick disconnect and so is this, so I can actually take this part off and clean it if I want to. And then it just loops back in. So I'm going to turn this back to close. Well, I'll just show you. If I do open this valve, oops, that's the amount of pressure that comes out of the barrel. So close this. Actually, I'm going to empty this again just so you can see how this works in a second. So then it goes in. I actually have it go right under the nest boxes on the inside. Here's the nest boxes I built for the coop. And that's it there. I come around to the front of the coop. You can see where it comes in the back. I have it run under the nest boxes. Figure it keeps it shade and cool. And then this is the one spot that I regret. I made a mistake. I was just basically building it around the coop, plumbing it in. I should have put a quick disconnect here, uh, either right here or right here, for the purpose of cleaning this part out if it ever gets clogged. I've got the four nipples, the red drip irrigation nipples, and they leak a little bit sometimes, but I wouldn't really worry about it too much. Um, as I was building this, I realized that I didn't want to cause some sort of airlock. So, I well, this, this piece of clear tubing serves two purposes. One is it lets the air out. Hello, chicken. It lets the air out so when the water rushes in, it doesn't hit an end cap and stop. Um, it can actually go up and it's an open end here. And then the other purpose is it's actually going to show me the water level without me having to check the barrel. I can just see where it's at here. So let's go back around and I will turn it on and show you what I mean. So open up this valve. Close this one of course. And if you look now you'll see the water shooting up this tube. And it'll settle out in a second. And there's our water level right there. So you get a nice clear water line. 
The other advantage is I can actually pour in, uh, you know, some apple cider vinegar, things like that, if I want to keep it clean. You can see a little bit of, like, mold showing up in here. This has been in place for four months now, I think, and uh, it's actually worked fabulously. So now it's under pressure. This is all the pressure from the 55-gallon drum. And you can see there's like a really slow drip, but I don't really sweat it. Um, if anything, you know, reminds the chickens where it is. I threw these logs here in case sometimes they like to stand on the log, sometimes they stand on the ground, you know. Different heights. I try to make it the height of a chicken kind of stretching its neck up. It's worth noting when I originally set this up, none of the chickens would use it because I still had their old water supply in here. And I guess if they have that to choose from, why would they try something new? So I was a little worried about it. I was, it was really hot. It was the middle of the summer. It was like late July in Florida. Um, but eventually we took out the other water and left them closed up in the coop here for a day. And sure enough, they all learned in one day how to drink out of it. <laughs>